I've got my hands on some groundbreaking research on why the cases of breast cancer are doubling. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how the screening test, which is also known as mammography, triggers breast cancer and spreads it. And sometimes breast cancer is not that worse and how it can be overdiagnosed. Mammography, which is a screening for breast cancer, it has a lot of side effects. Side effect number 1 As per Dr. Ben Johnson, author of No Mam or Grams, you can read by yourself. The doctor says the X-rays used in mammography are hundred times stronger than the X-rays. If you have any symptom related to breast cancer, meaning that you experience pain in your nipples, the skin of your breast remains irritated, a lump on your breast or underarms, you should definitely go for a screening, but not mammography. you can go for ultrasound or mri they are much safer options i went to the national library of medicine and it is clearly mentioned that breast cancer is induced by x ray mammography screening the second biggest side effect of mammography it can spread the cancer because if you are detected positive then a biopsy is done What happens in a biopsy is that they take a tissue sample from the breast and observe it under a microscope and sometimes during the biopsy the needle punctures the malignant cells that is cancer cells and leads to the spread of cancer. Dr Manfred Dweb who is a medical director of the Curo Center in Switzerland it is a huge medical academy its directors agree with the fact that biopsies can spread cancer. Not only this The New England Journal of Medicine also observed that during 1976 to 2008 breast cancer increased double to triple times and during that period mammography was introduced and doctors used to recommend mammography as a part of screening. There is an interesting documentary Boobs the War on Women's Breasts. The director of this documentary is a lady Her name is Megan S Smith. She has dedicated this documentary to her husband and her friends who lost their lives due to cancer. There has been a lot of argument and research that when cancer is only detected, should we call it cancer or not? So, the doctors named it stage 0 breast cancer. The third side effect is overtreatment and overdiagnosis. How does overdiagnosis and overtreatment happen? Let's say you did mammography or breast screening and you got detected with DCIS, abnormal growth of cells in your milk duct, that is your nipple. A cell known as DCIS starts to grow at your nipple. It is 1 to 1.5 cm in length. Whenever it is detected, the doctors call it stage 0 breast cancer. Now I'm coming towards the end of the video and you must be thinking Palak, what should we do? Step number 1 listen to your body your body will give you a sign or symptom let's say your body has the symptoms and your breast got lumps over it go for mri and ultrasound i'm authorized to say that you should change your lifestyle but how number 1 make your diet 90% alkaline second avoid the toxins third elevate the levels of vitamin d in your body there is a direct link between vitamin d deficiency and breast cancer dump your estrogen twice in a year using our estrogen balance and liver detox we all are estrogen dominant which is the biggest cause of breast cancer if you are taking a hormone therapy and your doctor is giving you progesterone go for bio identical progesterone and not progestin Progestin is the synthetic form of progesterone. Your hormones will get balanced, but you will have the chances of breast cancer. If you are taking birth control pills, again do not go for progestin, synthetic progesterone. If you have inserted IUD, go for copper hormone free IUD. When you get your mammography done and the cancer comes, it's already stage 3. I'm ending this video. This is a very groundbreaking research. I have done my work by doing the research and watching the documentaries. Now it's your job to spread the awareness. Share this video and save a large number of women from mammography and the right approach towards lifestyle. This is the key.